So how much money do you need to purchase a house? Well, everyone's answer to this question will be different because it depends on several factors. Factors like the town and city where you want to buy the house, the type of home you're looking for, the type of loan you're getting, your credit score, your debt to income ratio, closing costs, and your down payment. So when you hear someone say that they paid this or that for a house, they're actually talking about their own personal experience and this can be different for you. So I'm Denise Watkins. I'm with the Watkins Team RE with Samson Properties. And if you're not quite there yet financially, but are eager to become a homeowner, then there are a few things that I wanna share with you to help you move into that direction. Well, the first thing you need to do is calculate how much you can afford. Now, mortgage lenders, they look at borrowers who can afford a monthly mortgage payment that's no more than around 28% of their monthly gross income. So if your gross income is $6,000 a month, you can afford a mortgage payment around $1,700. But I always tell my clients, and I mean always tell my clients that your gross is not your net. So if your gross is $6,000 a month and your taxes are 28%, which is $1,700, you need to know the cost of your other expenses like your medical insurance, your savings, your 401k, transportation, gas, entertainment, food, clothing, all those things. These should all be included in the equation because those are the things that only you know and therefore you should do your own math. So create a worksheet and list your expenses on one side, your income on the other side, and then if you break even, then you need to make some adjustments in your spending or eliminate some of those things. Now let's break down a $300,000 home purchase using the FHA loan. You'll need 3.5% down, which is 10.5, and that's subtracted from the total cost of the house. So 300,000 minus 10.5, which is around 3,200, 85, so that would be your down payment. Now you need your closing costs, which runs between three to six percent. In this example, I'm going to use three percent. So three percent of the purchase is nine thousand. Finally, you need to add in other costs that may be associated with purchasing a three hundred thousand dollar home, like your inspection fees, buying down points. Now these are optional, but you should consider them. So in total, you would need to save up somewhere between nineteen thousand and twenty-four thousand dollars to purchase a home worth. 300,000. Now keep in mind this number may vary depending on your circumstances and your qualification. So I'm Denise Watkins. I'm with the Watkins team. If you are ready to talk to someone about purchasing a home and how much it's going to cost you, I left my contact information below. Reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because there's a lot of things happening in our local market and you can find a lot of it right here. Bye.